Hi, good day to you. Um, today we're going to learn the use of pivot table in Microsoft Excel. Um, so let's uh, use the data, the data here. Uh, these are uh, the years. Uh, by the way, these numbers are, are arbitrary. They're not the actual statistics of the players on, uh, on the years here. So I have here the, the year, the players, the team, the games played, the total points scored, and the total rebounds. So uh, in, before starting, we have to ensure that we have a, a data and all the, the, the columns are labeled. Otherwise, uh, your, your pivot, uh, pivot uh, table selection will not work. So let us use this data here. So let's go with uh, insert. Okay, and then select pivot table. Okay, now you have to select the, the data here. Okay, and then click okay. Now you see uh, it went to another uh, sheet. But you can also you can also do it in such a way that uh, this will this pivot table will be on the same sheet. Uh, let's do that. So it's insert and then select the uh, data. And then once you've selected all the data here, you can click OK. And there, this is basically your workspace here as a uh, for for the pivot table. So you can you can uh, modify this uh, based on your preference on how you wanted to view the data. So for example, here we can just uh, select the year, you can drag it and drop it. Uh, if you want to view the uh, performances every year uh, per row. So there you see, there's 2015, 2016, 2017, and 2018. And we wanted to view the uh, the data on a per uh, column the the performances of each team per column we have to select the team or we have to drag the team and then put that on the column and there you can see there the bulls cavaliers celtics uh, on every column here and now we have to select the data that you wanted to see. If it's uh, the total points, you can just select it and put it on the values uh, section. So that is, okay, so that is the data. Uh, by the way, uh, we can select to uh, format this, uh, this data here. Uh, let's, Let's select first this and then go to uh, home and then let's uh, okay. let's have them all uh, rounded uh, up to the let's take away all the decimal places. Okay, so now. Okay, let's just drag it here so that we can better view it. Okay, so now here you can see uh, the total points scored per team. So the Bulls uh, scored uh, 5,133 points uh, the year 2015. Uh, the Cavaliers 4,812 uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, these are the, 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 the way we uh, use uh, pivot table in computing for the points uh, scored. Now what if you wanted to see uh, along with, you wanted to see side by side uh, with the points score, the, the rebounds. You want to include that in the data. You just drag 
the total rebounds uh, uh, data here, put that on the values uh, section in there, you will be able to see this uh, pivot table that we have already includes the uh, not just the points but also the rebounds. Now, what if you wanted to see uh, the the statistics of your favorite teams in terms of uh, the or, or players in terms of points scored? Well, we can. Uh, we don't have it here. We don't have that on the data, uh, but we can use pivot in making that uh, computation for us. Uh, we just have to use or create a formula. So here, you can click on Pivot Table Analyze, uh, and then select the fields, items, and sets, and then you go to Calculated Field. Okay, so here you are creating an, uh, sort of another column uh, with uh, you just using the the data that is here. So Let's assume that we want to see the points per game data. So points per game or PPG. So it's but first you have to understand really how how uh, what is the formula in order to come up with this uh, output. So the points per game it's computed by uh, first getting the total points. So double click there, and then divided by the total games played. Double click there. And then just select OK. All right, so uh, let's see. It's just, we just wanted to see uh, the points per game. So we just uh, drag and drop the, the previous data, the points and the total rebounds back. We are, it's like we are unselecting it from the uh, values field and then just having the points per game um, number selected. So here, oh, you notice that there are some uh, undefined uh, numbers here. So it means that uh, there might be no uh, data present on, on the uh, selection. So for example, here, the nets doesn't have any um, data for 2015. So we are going to do a, a visual inspection here. These are all the 2015 uh, data. And here, we don't see any Nets uh, team. So on our data here, there's no uh, Nets team. That is why it's not showing anything. And it's, it's just showing an undefined um, uh, number. In order for us to, uh, we have an option to remove that. Let's just go to uh, pivot table options and then for error values, show just blank. Okay, so let's click OK. And there, uh, you don't see that anymore because it's kind of an eyesore. Um, now, let's see, we're more interested in, in viewing the, the statistics of each player. Well, instead of the year, we can select, uh, we can drag out this uh, data here, the year, and, and just select players. Drag and drop. There. Okay, and uh, we're not in particularly, we're not particularly interested with the team. We just need the number of points per game. So let's take away the team. And here we can see uh, the the points per game of every player. So if you want to see uh, with at least one decimal place here, you just go to home and then um, format it. Okay. Um, now we can see uh, these are the statistics per player. But what if you wanted to see um, the per year uh, statistics? You just select the year and then put that on the column or whichever either in the column or in the row let's say in the column drag and drop there you can see the year over year uh, statistics 
for in particular the points per game of every player all right so sorry about that okay so let us uh, see here uh, wanted to earlier we created a formula for the uh, points per game we can also do that for the rebounds per game so we go back to pivot table analyze and then select fields and then calculated field let's type entitle this uh, rebounds per game or rpg so rebounds per game you get the total number of rebounds we divided by the games played we double click that and then we hit okay and then here well it automatically added i did it on the uh, values uh, portion by the way there's so many things you can do in pivot um, here it, it gives you the total uh, per column it gives us the total per uh, per row so well, the perspective that we have here is the statistics per player so you don't want to see the total statistics of all the players so let us just take that out so op options sorry let pivot you right click right click and then pivot table options and then we go to the totals and filters we uncheck the grand totals for columns all right and then select okay and now here we are seeing the um, statistics per um, per player the points per game rebounds per game uh, for the year 2015 up to the year 2018 and for the totality of these uh, periods these years we have it we have it here on the total points per game or total uh, rebounds per game okay uh, so the same goes for the if you want to have a view of the per team so you just drag the the players and drop from this uh row and just select the team uh, by dragging it and dropping it there and here um, you can see uh, this uh, the bulls team uh, for ev everything for that matter their statistics uh, uh, year over year and so you already have the you already have the uh, the pivot uh, table so i think uh, i think that's it for today um, if you have any questions or if you recommend or, or you want to request certain uh, excel topic if you have something in mind just comment it and if uh, if you like this uh, just uh, hit the like button or if you want to hear more of the uh, lessons that i'll be sharing uh, you can hit subscribe so i think that's it and thank you and have a good day